<laughs> Anyways, uh, Cloud Villager. Uh, this is definitely one of the matchups you don't see often, but yeah, it's truly a matchup of all time here. Honestly, yeah. like, I don't know. I'm like thinking like there has there's enough clouds to where this has to happen so often enough in high level play to where Villager means to get vods, right? I mean, I would think so uh, for sure, but. Uh, Zach on the aggression right now, and um, Javi, Javi at the moment, I it's flipped there, but Javi at the moment is kind of just playing in the corner right now, trying to, oh, okay. Um, but Javi in the corner right now, trying to figure out uh, how to get off ledge here, but so oh. far, oh, nope, still on ledge here, but. Second come down could have probably really helped there. Uh, production, heads up, uh, Javi is uh, fighting themselves. Yep, that is true. Really out here facing our own demons. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. <laughs> double uh, double spot dodge uh, into a whiff grab there. But yeah, right oh yes, early game Zach is doing actually pretty well here. Mostly just taking what's coming to him and like not like overthinking the scenario. He's like, okay, grab. You know, you're shielding for me. Fine, fine. I'll, I'll take the grab. That's I fine. Limit is gonna is run gonna out go down? Here. Yeah. Yeah, I was figuring he was maybe trying to like. Set up for a Klim Hazard kill there, or at least something to do with Klim Hazard. Yeah, but Javi... Speaking oh, of, whoa! Nah, he's okay. Good, he's good. But Javi did a good job stalling that out, so that... And, nice uh, little hitbox touching off the tree. Yeah, like, Zach's going to take the first stock here. And solid lead, um, just I was about to say 65, but now up to 85%. Uh, might be at kill percent here, but does have a limit on board again, so he gets some good damage here to uh, further the gap. Take the further control. All right. I mean, I'm already sitting here. I'm just chilling. Oh, no, gonna make it's all good. Oh, oh. I think, yeah. Yeah. Kind of I mean, free off stage if you can just hit the Javi. If he got that second balloon, that could have been deadly for Javi there. But and thankfully, gets knocked into the stage with that narrow. It's like, all right now, Zach is. It looks kind of like a simple. It looks really simple right now for Zach. Just keep taking what's being given right now. I mean, yeah, if you could get this. Uh, there there we go, right there. 3 1 lead. Great spot for Zach here. Um, but Javi's got some catch up to do. All right. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be caught it. trying to get a little greedy with that back air. You, you just because you're up doesn't mean you can go for that stuff. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Even if, even if you're like have to give up like Javi ledge trap, like, you'd rather take that because there's a chance Javi messes it up or just doesn't hit you with a move that actually super threatens you. Yeah, but nonetheless, uh, even though he's kind of getting uh, his butt kicked right now, um, he's in a really great spot for this first game right now. So. Oh, that jump is dangerous, and Javi's starting to catch on. Absolutely. Trying to get a little bit back here, but no, getting too close, and Javi loves that now. Yeah, waist limit there, and, and no. be pressing all day. Yeah, Javi's slowly building the uh, deficit back. Um, go, finds a plant, good edge guard here. Ooh, big nope. tech right there. That could have been it if he didn't hit that. Oh boy. Yeah, if Javi could get a good edge guard here or some sort of option, Ooh. then I think he's right back in. This 36.2% yeah, is not a lot. Low. Ooh, that near linger. Uh, that's gonna be it. Yeah. Yeah, nowhere to go after that. Javi um, coming back into this game here after being down 3-1. Okay. Uh, yeah, he really got baited. You cannot be so sure that you're going to be, you know, free just because you shielded that platform up smash. It is too safe to be, you know, playing around with that. All right. And back on plat. That plat is actually, like, deceptively bad position to be in against Javi. Because, like, the second you get hit oh, on there, man. you just get, like, opened up. Oh, he went for it. Uh, didn't quite get it, but good, good idea there. Still, and but still in a good spot here, hanging off a ledge. Ooh. Oh, trying to get a little greedy on the catch, but Javi drops just a tad too early. Maybe could have done like literally any other, any other smash attack. Could have just up smash. Probably just up smash. Attack. I would have called it. Like you see, Javi on Javi, just press the button. You know what I mean? Like Ooh. just go full PK. Watch out for the tree. Yeah. Yeah, Javi's going to try to see if he can maybe set up some sort of ledge trap here, but no, doesn't quite this, do anything. Yeah, he's going to swing at the axe right there, but back are too safe. Dangerous situation for both players here. Um, uh, might. Klim Hazard oh, force use, but it catches wow. Javi on the way up. Kind of baits him there, and uh, you obviously want him to use the climb hazard, but was not expecting it to get hit, and so that's going to be start taking game one. I forgot about the... I think uh, there are iframes on the beginning of the Klim Hazard? I believe there are. I think it's... So like it was like, I was like super concerned about that Lloyd just kind of standing there in frame. I was like, okay. Is mm -hmm. that going to ruin everything? Because like I can see dodging, you know, the F smash. That's just good spacing. It's just... Mm -hmm. There are so many other worlds where that could have gone wrong. And we're living in a one universe where Zach's able to hit that. Well, yep. I think uh, just cutting in here, I believe 
it's because the Lloyd hadn't quite moved yet, and only the first hit of, of Limit Klim Hazard actually hit the Lloyd, which isn't enough damage to break it. I see. Um, also, it is midnight here, so happy birthday to our T.O. Narnia. Uh, he birthday. turns 22. And uh, happy birthday. Uh, was it Laserbud's birthday today? Or? Laser Buds, I Actually, I'm not sure. Um, was, it, was it yesterday? It might have been. I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, way, uh, well, I'll need someone to fact check that. Happy but, birthday to Laserbud. Yeah, happy birthday to Laserbud. Either way, even if it was yesterday or if it's today. Yeah. Congratulations. Y'all getting old. Yeah. Ooh, and swinging a miss right there. I mean, again, this first, the second game is oh, kind of starting similar to the first one where um, Javi's kind of stuck no, in the No, he's dead. That was his jump. Yeah. Uh, Good reversal. Um, Javi's going to take the first stock this time, but that's the thing about Cloud. If you use that jump and then get reversal or, like, uh, get hit back, you're in big trouble if you don't have limit. That, like, it was just, like, super unfortunate timing, too. Because there was a runoff to get the... to get that limit cross off, but Javi's been doing really good at playing around uh, Zach's outdoors. Absolutely. Um, I mean, Zach's probably looking for some sort of kill option here. Um, Javi's going to do his usual stalling with uh, limit ads. And just avoids getting clipped by the rest of it. The balloon's taking the brunt of that hit. I think he might have actually got slightly hit by the ca Oh, well, I was smashed there. But I think he might have got slightly hit there, and that caused the balloons to stop there. But, yeah, uh, Zach making sure Javi doesn't get too far ahead. Yeah, I saw that Clem. I think I heard Clem Hazard trying to come. Uh, he heard it again. He's... Zach's really just trying to mash up this. Oh my god. And, and he wastes his uh, burn. Limit. But I mean, you take being alive over not having a resource, right? I mean, yeah, but he was on stage when he did that, so I think he would have been fine if he just air dodged, but nonetheless, uh, does catch uh, the upbeat, uh, does catch him there, so he gets some percent, but yeah, Zach's just kind of swinging right now, like he usually does. Ooh, there he, well, there's one swing that'll actually work. That's really far to catch with the cross slash. Man, he's really going for these um, reaches here when he has limit, but... I don't disagree. Oh, Assuming you're he got oh, it. Great, got smash. Assuming you have the limit and you're, like, smart about exactly when you're about to get hit by some BS, as long as you don't, like, completely ruin your chance to claim hazard, to like, you can use it here. Like, okay. Yeah, he's going to have to use it As long as you don't there. immediately die, you're fine. Well, he's still living. Good DI there. Places. Like, I died six separate times in that clip alone, and Zach is still trucking. Javi, unable to wrap this one up, and that's finally it, no. gets it. I should shut up. Yeah, but like, this has been a very close game so far. Um, both players not really getting much of an advantage when they get a stock lead. Um, and usually it's been a lot of, um, I guess, combos in a way, um, where Javi might take uh, you across the stage with the oh, uh, here go, slingshot. But... Oh, Ooh. nice parry there. And caught on the jump again. Yeah, Zach's starting to get caught in the air. Zach's going to get out of the situation, this but... Oh, man. Dodges. Oh, the man. Good uh, read there. Doesn't I think, kill, but... I think Zach initially wanted, like, a finishing touch type read. But, I mean, you'll take damage Ooh, on a little That across. was uh, ill-advised there. Might be in a bad spot. Oh, no, tech gets there. attack. Oh, saved by the balloons. That could have been disastrous. Another back oh, throw, not ready was... for DIing this time. Yeah, Javi just, just goes for the quick throw there. Uh, Zach was not ready for that, and Javi's going to make it 1 1 here to make it a 2 0 situation. Um, so Javi's making sure that he's staying alive in this set. That back throw is like. <laughs> Can someone pull up the frame data? That, it's like, that's got to be like 12 frames. Toss. Uh, I mean. Are we actually going to do this? Sure, we got Actually, I don't have the, I don't have the app anymore. I, have, I, I uninstalled it, and apparently it's off the app store, so I can't. Just I have technology. It. I'll find it. Uh, Villy, where's Villy? Villy Vanilli. Shoutouts to. Back there. No, no, that set's about to start. But let's quickly take a look at how fast this back throw is. Eleven. Eleven. Three, two, <laughs> I have. I have. I have normals slower than that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good options there to uh, mix up with the eye, but we're going to start game three here. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, I didn't have much to say there, but. Just a quick start here. It's just 
Once again, Zach getting the good swings. Big Speaking of joy! Smash. Doesn't kill, but Ugh. that must have caught Javi by surprise. I thought um, all of us were surprised. He literally dodged that like it was. He literally like just watched the uh, the Lloyd walk Zach by him. Zach is uh, saying something. Chaco takes a look at him like, uh, "You good, pal?" But <laughs> uh, knowing there, Zach, <laughs> he probably did say some like just like un unhinged like statement. The one that the type that just like makes zero sense in any context. I mean, you listen back to yourself, you're just like. Well, I mean, what he am I, on? I mean, he finally got the read that he needed with oh, big. limit cross slash, and he was a and Javi they were able to shield and then spot dodge the final hit. Like, I'd be angry a bit too. I think I mean, it's also more confusion uh, at this point. That's just a skill issue there, to be honest. But um, I'm going into the Clem hazard. I like that. I know why people don't do it. It's just easier. To, it's just like probably easier and faster to play. Me, Ooh, tries to go for a risky option there. Doesn't pay off, but he's still alive. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know about the choice. I, you know the drift chance is possible. Why not just go for a straight forward forward air or an up air? Yep. And Ooh, call out the dash shield. Again, trying to cover that flat. And Zach is just a second second early. Just getting there in, on time and ready for all of that. Yeah, I mean, the thing with Javi is they're really using... Oh, good, good big read there, but... They're really using a lot of their options to try and force uh, Zach and choke him out to get be in a bad situation. But as I say that, um, it's Javi who is in the bad situation as they are going to be down 3-1 once again. But um, game one, this situation happened and they mostly bring it back. And Ooh, quick. still going to be alive here, but uh, Javi not in a great situation. And yeah, this might be Zach's game to lose at this point. Yeah. And another back air. Taking it to game four. He actually, damn, three st Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah that's I one mean, of those, that's one of those games if you're, if you're an obvious spot, you just got to mentally refresh. You just got to turn that off. And probably for Zach too, because like, actually no, for Zach, you, you got to be part of that. Yeah. You know, I'm saying that. I mean, for Javi, that might have just been like a throwaway game after they were down 3-1. It was really just. Best of five sets in, like, you just have those. And you're just like, yeah. wow, that, I, I did nothing right. And just take it out. Just yep. disconnect. Reconnect, re just re reboot. Let's Absolutely. just get right back in it. I mean, yeah. Um, so game four here, going PS two this time. Gonna be interested. I mean, sort of similar to Small Battlefield, but there are a few differences. So I'm gonna be curious how Hobby uses uh, the slight differences to their advantage. I think it's just a matter of being able to set up the uh, the usual fair train with a little bit more room to breathe. Because you know the the upside downside of having a small stage is, or you know. If you're winning, you know you can just immediately get your good stuff, and they're already at they're like already at ledge. But if you're not in that scenario from the start, you're finding yourself unable to get what you like. And sure. Javi likes being able to rack up damage. Javi likes being able to just beat you out in neutral to get that slight advantage win, and then when you're just completely unexpecting the big hit, out comes an axe swing. You know, out comes the uh, forward smash off good ledge. Pocket. I do want to mention again, though, I think Javi, for the most part, has been doing a great job stalling out the limit and not allowing Zach to use it in an effective manner. And that was... <laughs> no way that was, like, a true punish. There had to have been some, like, Zach dropping his that controller type shenanigans. That was get-up attack, so get uh, if you parry that, that's kind of laggy, so it might have been. That's crazy. <laughs> you just said, good morning, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bowling Ball is insanely strong, in my opinion. One of the better tools in Villager's Kit. A um, lot of versatility yeah, with just, both edge guarding and both just raw kill power. I would say, like, the threat of uh, the ball is probably much more, act like, more, actually, much more effective than the actual Bowling Ball itself. Because, like, it basically just forces every character to go into, like, a more optimal angle for some other stuff, like a typical, like, edge guard. Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely some moves in uh, this game that would fall into that category, and. For sure, bowling ball would definitely be one of them. Oh, work. that's a double jump wasted. And yeah, no, Zach's gonna lose that stock. And again, like we're seeing kind of the inverse here, where Javi is up three one, and now Zach is down. So Javi might run away with it, or Zach might just try to pull a comeback here. Ooh, that's that's got a sting there. Not getting the uh, down hit, but ooh, uh, sneaking that dash deck in there. There goes first stock for Javi. Uh, I don't know. I, I actually just don't know if this is gonna be a good. Comeback off for Zach. Zach's going to need a good uh, second stock here. Um, not necessarily take it quickly, but don't want to rack up too much damage here. 
and it's not really doing a great job of that right now. Ooh, just missing that up smash. That could have been big damage. Just missing that blade beam. That could have been massive damage. I mean, again, Javi's been doing a great job avoiding that limit or even just stalling it out. Um, <laughs> good ledge trap there. Doesn't quite pay off because it's the roll. Can you just talk about how that up smash was like interrupted by tree and everything? But because it's a projectile and it's like stupidly like not laggy, <laughs> that, that blade beam just not a thing. That's uh, cross slash just didn't exist. And I think this should be it. No, an early up he saves Zach here. Javi able to ooh, get a couple moves around. That should be a kill. That, like, you take it. Yeah. You see that air dodge, you have to take advantage. Yeah, and, and that's just going to be a slingshot to the face here. Yeah, immediately just like, no, no. This platform is once again off limits. Javi tying the setup. We got ourselves a nice little game five here. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said it before, um, Javi, game three, they had kind of a poor game, just had to throw that out, reset, and got the jump job done game four. So now we got a game five situation here. Yeah, it's like, I feel like if you get three stock, you have to just disconnect. Even and if, and, if, and if you three stock, you also have to like reset a little bit. Not like completely like, okay, no, just ignore like, everything I just did that actually got me a win. But like, don't get too crazy because any player worth their salt is going to completely change up their game plan. Yep. For the next game, so back you are not playing. You're not playing the same player anymore. Yeah, but back to small battlefield here. Uh, Zach seems to want to go this stage, um, but yeah, um, Javi trying to start with the early momentum here. And there we go. But... Good read on the up on the up smash, but it's just not going to work out for the actual combo routes. Yeah, I think that uh, slingshot missed, and Zach was able to get a reversal with the up air there. But Zach has a uh, limit on deck. Well, Zach's taking full use of this, uh, you know, the increased movement speed with limit. Like, I've seen him jump a lot of things. I feel like if there was no limit involved, Zach would just get hit. Like, for sure. Four. But. Oh, and there you go. Reaching in, grabbing a little bit from the top of the fridge, and Javi now off stage. He uses a, uh, the sl uh, slingshot to disrupt the limit there. I like that um, I like that play there. But um, right now, Javi's just trying to look to, for a way to get out of disadvantage Ooh. here. And, Beautiful yeah. parry right there. Good parry into the kill. Uh, Zach is going to take the first stock in this game five. Um, but yeah, I mean, for Javi at this point, they are really just trying to uh, close this uh, stock out as quick as they can. And Limit's gone. Limit's gone and OK. Was, <laughs> and a lot of jobs. Serve jobs out there. Oh, I was just more I was more like surprised that like that could not punish after that accident. Like Ooh. even okay. without even thinking, you just kind of up you that, right? Back throw. Back throw. Not quite. And yeah, but he gets nope, hit. No, no so jump. jump. And limit to back to boot. Oh. Avoids a down tilt. That was a good spot dodge. Javi able to get right back on stage. Face him down. Doesn't get any of the Ooh. immediate hits here, but should have that an opportunity yeah. here. Seeing the uppie. That is going to be stock number one off for Zach. Yeah, but um, that miss, that upbeat miss calls. Um, and now uh, Javi's looking to make, uh, bring this back. Has the uh, tree planted. The tree's been... Uh, uh, grown so. Ooh, Ooh missed the oak. Uh, the Sash. the oh. oak. I love the little okey doke there. By oh, I, I'm not gonna land with limit. I'm not gonna land with Clem Hazard. It's fine. You can you can just miss. That's actually just yeah. really funny when that happens. And you like intentionally do the bad thing, mm -hmm. supposedly, and you still and you get like full reward. Yeah, we see here. Hobby and, is yeah, gonna stall again. Stall. You can have your movement yep. for a little bit, but you're not getting me with the big move. Javi's been uh, doing a phenomenal job stalling out the limit here. It's really been uh, forcing Zach to either run out or use a oh, more often with it. That was so, so weird. Good, uh, good Z. And I also like the usage of the Lloyd to stop the momentum from potentially um, slightly going into the blast zone there. So, oh, bold moves to just go up with the backer, knowing Javi was going to try and read that jump. I was going to set uh, their camp up. Uh, Tree is the uh, best wall there. Back throw might kill. No, not, not quite, quite, just barely. And that Javi finishing will. the job there for stock number two. Are we gonna have a? Uh, we're gonna have. Nope. The, we're gonna have a real tight set. It's up to Zach to like get the momentum here. I need Another a kill here. Landing. Oh, Ooh, what are you swinging at? What do you think you are? You are not Peter. Jesus. Well, I mean, uh, uh, down there is there and just uh, obliterates Javi. So this is the last stock here. Oh, danger. Forces the limit usage and that. Oh, only goes for jab. No, right. no, it's good. Look, you got like 20% off of that thing. 
They got so much percent. I actually now, wonder if that could have. Um, I don't think it would have killed, but it might have sent uh, Javi off stage if uh, they connect. They committed to that, but. Oh, dangerous scenario here. This is close. Um, Zach's about to get limit here, so. And forced to drop shield there. That shield is looking mighty small. You do not want to take this limit. <gasps> no, this could be bad. Ooh. A little late for that up smash. They miss again. They're expecting a roll in. They're expecting Man. Zach to just not stand up. Oh, ah. that was a bit of a um, trigger happy limit there. I mean, Zach might be regretting that one. You feel like you eventually have to, but still. We're going deep for that one. Zach's been going deep this entire set. Javi does a great job of avoiding it, but... Oh, Ooh, that, might, that be might be it. it! And wrap it up, Javi. Securing it. it. <laughs> and uh, tossing some bowling balls, um, I guess, Ooh. to also secure it, but also in a victory in a way. Javi is going to take it 3-2 here. Uh, great start.